Hi, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Maths Revision video. So we're going through the 100 days to go until the GCSE Maths exam, and there's 85 days to go. In this video, we're going to focus on averages from tables. So we're going to look at how to find the mode from a table, how to find the median from a table, and how to find the mean from a frequency table as well. So in this video, I'm going to go through how to do that. I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself. So remember to pause the video to try those questions. And then what I'll do is afterwards, we'll talk about the practice questions and some tips. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at how to find the mode from frequency tables, the mean from frequency tables, the median from frequency tables, and also how to find the range from frequency tables. I'm going to go through an example of each, and then I've got a question for you to try on each of them as well. So to begin with, I'm just going to go through and explain it, and then at the end, then there's going to be a question for you to try on each of those. So here we've got a frequency table, and we've got some ages, and we've got five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and eight-year-olds, and we've got some frequencies. So there's two five-year-olds, there's two six-year-olds, there's five seven-year-olds, and there's one eight-year-old. And we've been asked to find the mode from this frequency table. Now, if you wanted to, you could write all the values down. You could write down two five-year-olds. You could write down two six-year-olds. You could write down five seven-year-olds. So you could write down seven, 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 and seven, and one eight-year-old. And you could write a list down of values like that. Now, that's quite nice for this table because here we've got quite small frequencies. But you could be given a question where perhaps where you've got 150, 470, and so on. And by the time you finish your list, the exam's over. So you've got to find a quicker and easier way to be able to find the mode from a frequency table. So here we've got the mode. We know the mode's going to be 7. And if we have a look to find the mode, we just look for the value which has got the highest frequency. So the highest frequency is 5 here. So that means that 7 would be the mode. So the modal age is 7 years old. And that's it. So to find the mode from a frequency table, we just look for the highest frequency, which is here. And then we look and see which one has got the highest frequency. So here, the modal age is 7. OK, our next average from a table. We're now going to look at how to find the mean from a frequency table. So as we've looked at, we've got two five-year-olds, two six-year-olds, five seven-year-olds, and one eight-year-old. We could write that list down, and we could add them all up, get the grand total, and then divide by the number of values. But again, if the frequencies are bigger numbers, we might not be able to do that. So what we need to do is we need to find a quicker and simpler way to do that. So here we've got two five-year-olds. Now five plus five is equal to ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a column, and I'm going to call this column the fx column. And that's fine by multiplying the frequency by the age. So we'll find the age and the frequency together. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And if you think about it, 2 5-year-olds, 5 plus 5, is equal to 10. So these 2 5-year-olds are going to combine the age of 10 years. These 2 6-year-olds, well, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So 2 6-year-olds, so the sum of these two ages, the sum of these 2 6-year-olds would be 12 years. We've got 5 7-year-olds, so 5 times 7 is 35. And we've got 1 8-year-old, and 1 times 8 is equal to 8. So then if we add these all up, that'll be the total of all the ages. So if we do 10 plus 12 plus 35 plus 8, that's what you get whenever you add up all the ages. So let's do that. So 10 plus 12 plus 35 plus 8 is equal to 65. So that means that if you had that list of values and you added them all up, you would get that's equal to 65. But we've done it by adding on a column called the FX column, and we've just times the frequency by the ages. So we've just done 2 times 5, 2 times 6, 5 times 7, and 1 times 8. So we now know the total of the ages. Now we need to divide that by the number of values or the number of people. So to find that, we're going to add up the frequency. And the question it might tell you might say the ages of 10 people are, but here we need to add this up. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, plus 5 is equal to 9, plus 1 is equal to 10. So if we would write out this list, it would be 10 values. So we now just need to do the total, which is 65, divided by the number of people or the number of values or the total frequency, which is 10. And 65 divided by 10 is 6.5. So that means that the mean age is 6.5. 6.5 years, and that's it. Okay, next. Next, we're going to look at how to find the median from a frequency table. So here we've got a frequency table, and we've got the ages. Now, this time the ages are a bit different. We've got 18, 19, 20, and 21. We've got two 18-year-olds, three 19-year-olds, 13 20-year-olds, and one 21-year-old. And to find the median, well, we could write the list down. And this is going to take me a little bit of time because we've got 13 20-year-olds, but I'm going to do it just to show you. And we've just written down a list of all the ages. Now, to find the median, what we could do is we can cross off the smallest and the biggest biggest, the smallest and the biggest, and we're left with 20 in the middle. So that means that the median age is 20 years old, so the median is 20. So that's how you can find the median from a frequency table. And I would only use this technique if the values are very small. Like, so here we've got 2, 3, 13, and 1. Even with 13, I was tempted not to use this approach, and I'm going to show you another approach in a second. But here, if you've got very small for the values for the frequencies, or if you've got spare time you want to just check your answer, you could write a list down if you really wanted to. Now, instead of writing a list, we could use a bit of a shortcut. And there is a bit of a shortcut, and that's where we consider how many people there are. So, for instance, if I had three people, so if I had person A, B, and C, if I wanted to find the position of the median, that would be the second value. So if I had three people, the position of the median is the second one. 
If I had five people, for instance, A, B, C, D, and E, the position of the median is the third one, and so on. And there's a bit of a shortcut. And what you do is you take the number of people, or the number of values, you add one, and then you divide by two. So for instance, if I've got three people, adding one is equal to four, and half it is equal to two. So the second person is the median. If we had five people, if we add one, that's equal to six, and then divide by two is equal to three. So the third person is the median. So here, if we add up all the frequencies, two plus three plus 13 plus one, that's equal to 19. So if we add one, that's equal to 20. So if we do 19 plus one, that's equal to 20. And then if we divide by two, that's equal to 10. So the 10th value is the median. And if we check here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the 10th person is the median. So what we can do is we can say, well, if we've got two 18-year-olds, well, the 10th person's not going to be in there. And then if we've got another three 19-year-olds, well, that's going to be five people altogether. Well, the 10th person's not in there. And then if we had 13 20-year-olds, well, the 10th person, if we line them up on order, would be in there. So that means that the median would be in this category, which would be 20. So the median age is 20 years old. And that's it. So that's a bit of a shortcut to use the number of people add one divided by two. And that'll tell you the position of the median. And that works whenever you've got frequency tables like this. Okay, now let's have a look at the range. So to find the range from a frequency table like this, we just need to find the oldest person in this one and the youngest one and then take them away. So the oldest person is 21. There's one 21 year old. So we're going to do 21, take away the youngest one, which is 18. And 21 take away 18 would be equal to three. So the range from this frequency table, the range of the ages would be three years. Okay, so now we've, we've gone through how to find the mode, the most common value from a frequency table, the one with the highest frequency. We then looked at how to find the mean from a frequency table. That's where we get each of the values and we multiply them by the frequencies, and add them all up to get the grand total, and then divide it by the total frequency. We've looked at how to find the median. You could write a list if they're small values, but if they're larger values, you might want to use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2, and that gives you the position in the median, so the number of people or the number of values add 1 and divide it by 2, and then you go down and find out where the median would be and which one that is. And finally, we've looked at the range from a frequency table where we get the highest value and the smallest value and you just take them away. Okay, so here's a question now for you to try yourself. We've got a football team play 25 matches and the table shows information about the number of goals they score in each match. And we've got the number of goals scored, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we've got the frequencies. And part A is to work out the modal number of goals scored. So feel free to pause the video now and to write down the modal number of goals scored. So here, the modal number of goals scored, well, if we look for the highest frequency, the highest frequency is 10. So that means the modal number of goals scored, if we wrote this list out, the number that would appear the most often would be 1. So the modal number of goals scored is 1. That's the most common. So there was 9 matches where they scored no goals. There was 10 matches where they scored 1 goal, 4 where they scored 2, and 2 where they scored 3. So the most common number of goals scored would be 1. And that's it. Okay, the next question, well, it's the same table. And this time I want you to work out the range of the number of goals scored. So feel free to pause the video and to work that out. Okay, so the most number of goals scored was three and the least number of goals scored was zero and three take away zero is equal to three. So the range of the number of goals scored is three and that's it. Okay, next. So this time again, we've got the same frequency table and this time I want you to work out the mean number of goals scored. So feel free to pause the video and to work that out. Okay, so to work out the mean, we want to work out the grand total. So I'm going to put on the FX column. So in nine matches, they scored no goals. That's no goals altogether. In 10 matches, they scored one goal in each of those matches. That's 10 goals. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. In four matches, they scored two goals in each of those matches. Four times two is equal to eight goals altogether there. And in two matches, they scored three goals. So that's going to be six goals altogether there. And if we add those up, we get the grand total of number of goals scored. Zero plus 10 is 10, plus eight is 18, plus six is equal to 24. So they scored 24 goals altogether. And then in terms of the number of matches, well, we're told they play 25 matches in the question. And then to find the mean, we divide the grand total, which is 24, by the number of values, or the number of matches in this case, which is 25. And 24 divided by 25 is equal to 0.96. So the mean number of goals scored is 0.96, just slightly under one, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. So we've got the same frequency table, and this time I want us to work out the median number of goals scored. So feel free to pause the video now and to give that a try yourself. To take the total frequency, which we're told is 25, so, and that's to use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. So the number of matches is 25 plus 1 is equal to 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13. So 25 plus 1 is 26 divided by 2 is 13. So we're looking for the 13th value. So if, for instance, you had 25 people and you put them in height order and you wanted to find the median height, the median person would be the 13th person. So here, we would, if we arrange these numbers in order, starting with 0, and we would list it out 9 zeros and 10 ones and 4 two 
twos and two threes. We want to find the 13th value, and that's going to be the median. So is the 13th one going to be in here? Well, nine zeros, no. Is it going to be in here? Well, if we had nine zeros, and then we wrote 10 ones, well, then it would be in there. So the median's going to be in here. So the median number of goals scored would be one, and that's it. So the median number of goals scored was one, and hopefully you got that. And that's it. So in this video, we looked at how to find the mode from the frequency table. So the most common value from the frequency table, or with the highest frequency. Then we also looked at the median from a frequency table. So you could list them out if you wanted to, or I've showed you another way in terms of how to find the position of the median. And then also how to find the mean from a frequency table. So multiplying the frequencies by each of the values, adding them all up, getting the grand total, and then dividing that by the total frequency. So we've looked at how to find those averages from a frequency table, and we've also talked about how to find the range. So the biggest values take away the smallest value. And also remember, there's the practice questions. So in the description below, remember there's that link to the practice questions on finding the averages and the range of frequency tables. And that's it. So I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also remember to tell your friends about it, to tell your teachers about it, just because it gets the videos more views and hopefully I can help more people. So thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.